The design of Alter was all about this merger of old and new. It was about creating a timeless beverage that looked like it was always there, but was completely unique and brand new to the marketplace. It was about taking the 1920s apothecary, this trusted old apothecary medicine, so to speak, of how mixologists got started when they really started by making healthy drinks, health drinks. And they would take all the local plants, vegetation, herbs and flowers, and they'd muddle them and then they'd add an alcohol to them and they started to make a cocktail. And I wanted to merge it with a California contemporary, something that represented new and fresh and healthy, but modern. The name alternative means two things. It's very important to me. It's very important that life be sacred. It's very important that every part of life is sacred. Not a special time when one goes to a temple or one does philanthropy, but every aspect of one's life becomes sacred. And so altar really has a double meaning. It really means to be sacred, and then it means to change, which was the reason how we put them all together in the concept of moods. So there'd be five different moods, and a few more we're working on for later on. Chi for energy, and bliss for real relaxation, and chill for just that exhale, that feeling of letting go. Aphrodisiac for real sensuality, and then restore for real restoration. The ingredients were really started off being drawn on a piece of paper first. So I had a long experience of putting together ingredients and formulating. I really took three different parts of things. One was the tea, one were, were really premium and beautiful teas, as organic as I could find them. Then there was herbs, flavored herbs, medicinal herbs, all sorts of different herbs from around the world. And then it was fruits, vegetables, herbs, spices, flowers, and savories, whether it be salts or smoked pepper. And then we started drawing them out on a piece of paper, and then we started to gather them. So we started putting some pairings. Uh, for chill, for instance, we decided we were gonna put, I wanted to put together fresh fennel bulb juice and kumquats. And then from there, we were gonna build upon it with Asian plums or with a host of other ingredients and teas, etc. But it was really three different components of things. And then we started building on it, muddling, smashing, freezing, extracting, cooking, whatever we could to get the flavors out, pressing them, until we would build upon them. But one of the most important parts of the foundational part was the sacredness. And that's where we, I really started coming up with this concept of considered curation. This real thoughtfulness, this, a, a real mindfulness of every flavor, of every detail. But it's not just in the ingredients, it's not just who we get the ingredients from, how they're found, how they're procured, how they're organically grown when available, how they're sustainably grown. It wasn't even all of that, it's also we have music that's played on each different mood because I wanted the vibration of the sound of music that represented the feelings. We wanted each herb selected for it, for its flavor, for its application, for its uses. But who bottles it? Every single aspect of, of Alter had to have this considered curation. It had to be really curated. It wasn't just, we weren't formulating, we weren't just going to flavor houses and saying, we really love it, vanilla ginger. We wanted to make what was came from nature reproduce in the bottle. Well, the concept for Herbal Martini came from my dreams. It really came from going to out for restaurants and bars, going out to dinner with my wife or our friends, and realizing that I longed to have a martini, but I didn't drink alcohol. And I loved the feeling, the sophistication, the grown-up aspect, the sensuality of the curved glass, of, the, of holding stemware in my hands. And so I was looking for a way of me having a martini. And, we, and then as we started to formulate, it became very obvious that it was an herbal martini. Herbal martini was really designed for, first it was designed for the non-drinker, it was for someone to have their own adult beverage. And then it started, it became part of, well, why don't we pair this with fine spirits? There wasn't anything in the marketplace that you could take your beautiful spirits and pair them with something. The benefits of all that. Oh, so that was the other part of the challenge is, how do you make it for everyone? So we, we it's gluten-free. It's organic when available. Uh, it's low calorie. It doesn't have any refined sugars, didn't have any additives, any preservatives, any natural flavors. Everything was natural in it. And as a result, we got a really, we got a low calorie, high taste, high touch beverage. The beautiful thing about Alter is that you can enjoy it at home as if a mixologist is in your kitchen, providing your friends or yourself the perfectly balanced mixology inspired drink. You can have it at your finest restaurants, your foodie environments, your specialty grocer, your natural grocer like Whole Foods. You can also find it spas, some of your catering environments, and I think you'll find it popping up in a few really special and unexpected places.